Hello, hello my friends. Welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene. Now on this episode my friends we are going to do an amazing coffee drink. I am sure, I'm quite sure everybody have seen this coffee displayed. It is something that's really trendy right now and especially in TikTok. So we are making some whipped coffee that is called that is called Dalgona. So we're gonna make that. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, simple. be super simple and delicious. And now let's begin. All right, guys. Now let's begin right here in my bowl. Right, you're gonna need a bowl for this. And we are going to be using some instant coffee granules. This is just regular coffee granules, no particular flavor whatsoever. And I have here one fourth cup. This is how super simple and easy it is. You are going to use whatever particular amount of coffee you're going to use. You're going to put the same amount of sugar or more. This is regular table sugar. I have here one fourth cup of the coffee granules plus one fourth cup of the sugar, granulated sugar. You can use more sugar. You can use less sugar, whatever you prefer. Or whatever kind of sugar you want to use is also something that you can do as well. And then along with that, I am going to put some ground cinnamon. I am going to put a half a teaspoon or however much as you prefer. So you're going to jazz this up according to your taste buds. We're also going to put in one teaspoon or so of vanilla vanilla extract you can put as much or as little as you want i'm going to use a whisk right now but you can use a handheld whisk if you want to and just mix everything up until it becomes nice then we're going to put the same amount of water one fourth cup and then just mix away As you can see, it's starting to get nice and frothy. That's exactly what you want. All right, friends, I took a little shortcut because my hand felt like it was gonna fall off. So I put the mixture right in my food processor and I'm just gonna put it back in the bowl that it came in. Why clean it up and look how beautiful this mousse looks i mean it looks fluffy just as it is called which is whooped coffee oh my god look at that so i'm just scooping everything out this, this is a beauty and either way you work with it if you want to uh put it in your Food processor, blender, or handheld blender, you can. Look at that goodness, that fluff. Delicious. Now, I don't really advise you to do it by hand because as I was doing it, it, you know, it didn't work out well. It would take too long. But you can run this in your um, food processor or, or what device you want to use for about a good 10 minutes or so. And then you're going to get some really nice, fluffy, whipped coffee, just like this. Look at that. And it smells and tastes divine. I tasted it already. And now, simple as that, because this part is done, all you're going to need is your cup of milk of your choice. I'm using whole milk. You can use skin milk, 1%, you can use almond milk, whatever milk you decide to use. You can even do this hot or cold. I'm doing it hot because I like hot coffee. And then the rest is easy. All you're going to do is just spoon in as much as you want and as much as you think you need. I mean, it really is that simple. It can't get better than that. Delicious. 
delicious. Delicious. Now let's do a taste test. All right, my friends, it is time to do a taste test. The most exciting part of the video. Now look at my coffee, y'all. That looks so pretty. And all you do is, I have a straw. I'm just gonna probably put too much, but you put as much as you want. It's really that simple and easy. Oh, it looks so good. Mmm. Wow, so good. You can taste the um, sweetness, which is not too bad at all. The uh, vanilla extract and the cinnamon really just takes it over the edge. It tastes like a, like a Mexican coffee and a spilling, but it's okay. It tastes so good. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, you really need to give this a try. So super easy, super simple. And it really is not that messy. I'm making a mess now, but it really is not that messy. Um, it comes together beautifully when you use either a full processor, a blender, uh, a hand mi uh, mix blender. Just don't do it by hand because it is time consuming and you're going to feel like your hands are going to fall off. Thank you so much, my friends, for joining me today in my kitchen. Thank you so much, my friends, for joining me today in my kitchen. You know it's always a pleasure of having each and every one of you join in with me. Make this, give it a try, super delicious and super fancy. It's a different take on having your regular cup of joe and you'll love it. Now, in the description box below, I'm going to leave you all the measurements and the social media sites that you can find me on please follow me on uh twitter i got instagram i got facebook and i'll see you again let me know what you want me to make next and i'll make it happen take care bye bye